everybody, it's Miss Willow. I wanted to show you guys the process of me making yet again another awesome dragon puppet. I have been loving making these so much. I find it very relaxing and helps me create a whole bunch of new ideas. It also helps me improve in my art too. Here's a little snapshot of my workstation. I decorated it with one of my favorite puppets and a couple of my little paper figurines that I've been making. Time to pick the colors. Uh, maybe I should use green in this one. <clears throat> Actually, I end up using a light purple lavender color, but I do end up using the green as some highlights for the horns, teeth, nose, and some spines will be the orangey color of the eyes. Artistically, something that I really take pride in and like to add in all of my pieces, or as many pieces as I can, is having little touches of color that are in multiple places. For instance, if the nose is green like right here, I will make sure that that's not the only little green section of the piece. I will actually make an effort to put the green in some other portion of it, such as the teeth and horns will also be the same color. I used a stripe pattern on this. I feel like that looks super cool and gives a nice contrast light and dark together in the picture. And here's some more work in progress shots. I am really proud of this. The earrings for the dragon, I wanted to look bedazzling and golden, along with popping the color of the eyes and eyebrows, which are also a golden and red color. That's another example of how I'm using the similar colors in different places of the art. Then I go on to shade, shade the horns and spines on the top of the dragon's head by doing a half and half slightly different color change from a reddish to a yellow orange. Here is the weird color. I did not know that this was going to work. I was a little bit skeptical using it at first, but I have so many colors in front of me and the person I am honestly wants to use them all. I can't always have such a multicolored dragon that it's chaotic, so I tend to try to find two or three different colors to use, maybe four, but trying not to always have one that's using up all of my pencils. I tend to, from time to time, have a bunch of colors I'm not used to using, and I will purposefully use them up in a creation so that I can have an even amount of colored pencils left before opening my next batch. That is just a little <laughs> thing that is a personality trait of mine, which I figured I would share in this video. I then went on to add some little details and dots. I totally forgot to color the other nose in green, so I had to race to do that last minute. But I figured this ended up turning out really well. Um, it has a very nice click clack to it, which we can't hear in this video. But I'm very happy with the assembly too. Anyways guys, I will have this puppet and more listed for sale on my Etsy currently. So if you are interested in adopting him, I will have that in the description. I hope you guys have a lovely and magical day and enjoy it. Have a wonderful one and I'll see you next time. Bye everybody!